organization Feed Evansville is on a mission to provide food to those who need it the most. Lisa Vaughn is back with more on the work and the upcoming events. It's always good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me. When did Feed Evansville begin? March of 2020. Wonder why. <laughs> yeah, there's a little thing called COVID-19. Um, I got a call from Alex Burton. Him and I have been friends for a long time, and he asked me about food insecurity because I've been doing a lot of work through my volunteerism through Junior League and Healthy Community Partners and Wellborn Foundation about food insecurity. And by the time we got off the phone, we formed Feed Evansville. It was truly a grassroots initiative. And at the height of COVID, we were helping 7,000 families a week. And where did you get those supplies? Because you, I mean, you all rolled out pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, it started with just people making donations and us making lunches, and then we started doing pantry boxes, and then the um, the federal government started doing a farm to family initiative through the USDA, and I worked with my friend uh, Lacey Wilson, and we were able to get those boxes here to Vanderburgh County. Wow. So now, uh, you, these little pantries. Tell us yes. about that. So there's a movement across the entire country called the Free Little Pantry. And I said, why shouldn't we have them here? They're very similar to the Free Little Library, but they're for non-perishable food items. So the USDA deemed that 40% of our neighborhoods in the Evansville area are food deserts. That means they're not within walking distance of fresh dairy, produce, or meat. And I said, let's put up these pantries. So our goal is by the end of this year to have 40 little pantries um, in those 40% of neighborhoods that um, are considered food deserts. And these are just a way to kind of break down the barriers. You're gonna uh, approach the pantry the same way if you're gonna put food in it, if you were gonna come and take some food out of it. They're not going to ratify or get rid of the food insecurity um, out of the over 20% of our families that are suffering from it in um, Vanderbilt County, but it's going to be a reminder to all of us as we pass by that food insecurity is a real thing and it's something that we can um, tackle and we can do, we can end food insecurity. Well, I think, you know, you all have kept that conversation wide open ever since you began and other organizations dealing with that. But I think seeing these little pantries mm -hmm. and knowing that we, I can come and contribute to it. I've yeah. been to the grocery, I get my green beans and corn and whatever, so I'm putting those in there for yeah. people to then just access as they will. Exactly. So they're open 24 hours a day. They're going to be all over the city. Um, we're working with the Parks and Recs Board and having free little pantries in some of our parks. And uh, we have 21 up now, and thanks to the Rotaract Club who made a nice donation and helped us install a bunch a couple weeks ago and we're going to have more up by the end of the year. Exciting for everyone to see and you can help with the work. Now at least you have an event coming up called The Longest Table. When is that and how do yes. we join in? So The Longest Table will be on September 22nd. We're waiting on our permit to confirm the location but it's going to be on September 22nd and it is going to be open to everybody. Um, so once we have the location firm we will have tickets that are free tickets on our website that you can sign up for those tickets and and we're basically going to have a long table and everybody through the entire committee can sit down and have a meal together and that's going to just help you know us get to know our neighbors you know food is love and we'll be able to break down some social barriers some economic barriers some ethnicity barriers and just learn about each other and kind of rejoice in the culture that is you as a person and as your family and get to know one another i love it i love it so find out more on your website yes. and facebook page correct mm -hmm. all right thank you lisa it's always good to see you thanks for having me more lifestyles and bronze weather right after this.